Yo guys, Rogagi here and welcome back with another video of Naruto Blazing. On this video, we're gonna talk about who are the best units on who should you use acquisition stones. If you do, if you maybe still don't know what are acquisition stones, uh, they, they are ability stones. Whenever you use an enhanced uh, 6 star acquisition stone on your unit, it will get one ability. If you use more stones, it will get more ability. So on this video, I just wanna help you guys to figure it out on which unit should you use your acquisition stones and on which unit should you not use acquisition stones. Uh, I wanna give credits to Pytos for creating this uh, template and characters and everything else so I just need to put in each category. His uh, channel will be in the description below so make sure to show him some love and support. Subscribe, watch a one of his videos or maybe even all of them if you wanted. They're really cool, funny and I really enjoy watching them and leave a like on the, their video. I hope that's not too hard on you. <laughs> okay, so yeah, let's do it. Now, I put it in category must stone, good investment. He wrote that but I completely agree. Can't blame category. Maybe if you really need it to use acquisition stone and the last category is no so please don't use acquisition stone. Okay, let me start from the first. Sage of Seaspad Naruto. Sage of Seaspad Naruto is amazing healer. Amazing PvE units till today. He really needs those healing abilities and he can also have wisdom reduction. But uh, especially if you are lacking of Blazing Festival units and you're having this unit with already, I don't know, one, two abilities, make sure to get him to the healing point, point side of things but that's only if you really need it you know because today this unit is awesome for pvp but um yeah this unit is awesome for pv but still it's not the current meta of today and it's really smart to save acquisition stones for some better units newer units if you understand me for example, you don't want to use acquisition stone, I don't know, three acquisition stone on him now when there is a New Year's banner really close in 2-3 months. So it would be better to save few stones more um, and then use it on the New Year's units etc. So I'll put him maybe if you really need it, your healing etc. But you need to max limit break this guy to work. But you know what I mean. Okay, he is for PvE. I will tell for every unit uh, in which aspect you should use those stones or you should not use stones. Honestly, Gara, Blazing Bash Gara needs his uh, Wisdom uh, damage reduction abilities to work perfectly. But his primary thing is his speed is and redu redu uh, reduce damage as a body skill. So if you want to put in his uh, for PvP, PvP is another category. Um, you really need to have some maxed out units in PvP to work out. But for Gara these days, maybe if you really need it. Maybe if you really need those Wisdom Reduction abilities. Because if you have Naruto Sasuke uh, and I don't know, some Hinata, etc. You don't need to put Acquisition Stones in him. Although it really helps in some situations. But it's better to invest those stones on some other units. But so these two units, maybe if we really need it, all these three categories, uh, we can say like this, are the units that you can use your stones and no one will uh, blame you. But uh, this last category we're going to see, uh, I'm going to tell you on who should you not, never use acquisition stones, okay? Uh, then we have Sage of Sispan Madra. He is a monster. When he's got his max limit break and if you have him maxed out, you really... He's a good advance investment because he'll be great for PvP. He'll be awesome for PvE. He will have a damage reduction, dodge, reset for alt, reset, reset for jutsu. He will have, I don't know, 5% chance to get chakra back when being hit, etc. Good investment. Really good investment. Hinata. Uh, honestly, honestly, Hinata really needs first, I believe, three abilities where she gets the damage reduction, but altogether she's so tanky these days that maybe if you really, really want to go like rank high in Kage League, I don't know, but honestly, 
sometimes it really saves you this one extra ability but putting now three abilities in uh, Hinata if you don't have any it's not worth it so maybe if you really need it uh, then we have this Kakashi also I'll put it in this category I, I should not uh, use uh, acquisition stone on him right now but if you're creating a hard team and you're missing some great units maybe putting some of acquisition stones in this Kakashi can be useful but again I advise you don't put acquisition stones in any of these units not at this time uh, but yeah and honestly I'll put this in the Sage's Dispad Naruto here because a lot of you maybe don't have uh, maybe don't have an, uh, enough of healing in PvP PvE so it's really necessary to max uh, this Naruto so I can't blame you if you want to put acquisition stone in him but first three uh, like first two categories must stone and good investment that will be like the best units on who should you use acquisition stones and can blame category maybe if you need, really need it and no category it's pretty much uh, less uh, less good units that you should use acquisition stone so i hope everything's understandable i'm trying so much to help you guys okay then we have sorcery sorcery is like like can't blame you you know oh no no don't don't honestly these days sorcery is no longer so strong for pvp as he used to be before he was a monster maybe when there'll be now a special rule for next kaga league a bravery speed boost by 50 maybe then i can put it in can't blame you but altogether maybe if you just really need it because then again if you don't have a lot of pvp units you want to qualify and everything else maybe if you really need it then put the stones but i don't advise it final valley naruto definitely a must stone because Altogether, Final Valley Naruto maxed out, he's a monster for PvE and PvP. These days, not so much for PvP since Sage of Seaspan Naruto is here. But if you want to be a PvE monster, you just need to max uh, these units out, bro. These Final Valley units need to be maxed out. It's really hard to say, is it good that I put it right here? But, yeah, uh, really hard to, uh, for me always to make this tier list to look perfectly even in my eyes. But they're all good advancement. I will say at this point, okay, I'll say it like this. At this point, maybe you should put few acquisition stones in them, not like max them out because as I said, New Year's banner is close and it's really important to use save your stones for the New Year's because when you pull a new unit, uh, then you need to use, uh, then if you don't have pearls, then you can use stones to max him out. But I would say that Sage of Seas Pad Madra, Final Valley Naruto and Final Valley Sasuke are good investment for now. Maybe I'll change my mind for the video, so please watch the whole, the whole video. It, it really means a lot. So yeah, let's go. Uh, Rage Obito, honestly, at this point of the game, you really don't need to put Acquisition Stones in him. <laughs> because he's, he does such a great pushback and everything else that with abilities, he gets stronger but uh, he got the dodge and today's a lot of, of uh, units ignore dodge and everything else he's good by himself without abilities of course abilities makes him a lot stronger but these days a lot a lot of units just ignore dodge and everything else maybe first ability so you can do more damage to skill so yeah maybe if you really need it maybe i can put it right here uh, Samurai Hashirama, honestly, he's a normal banner unit. I wouldn't invest acquisition stone in him. I would rather wait until I pull. That, that's just my own opinion. I know he goes under cost 28. I know he's exclusive unit. But no, no, please, no. This Itachi, no. <laughs> please, please. Uh, Shisui, can't blame you. Honestly, if you want to be crazy in the ninja road. If you want to have uh, crazy dodges. Uh, you can lose chakra etc crazy unit so i can't blame you if you use on him then we have this bravery kakashi honestly maybe sometimes if you really need to put the first ability but altogether he's a no you shouldn't be using now acquisition stone on kakashi like i said maybe if you really need it for the first ability so i need to put it here in this category minato putting two acquisition stones it's a good investment in him because of this damage reduction that he gets 100 
he gets 40 or 30 percent of damage reduction to wisdom and bravery and that is so good with this guy he's 36 chakra cost can chakra recover sweet seal and everything else so yeah broken edo hashirama all together can't blame you if you want to go for it but all together yeah, i played with him if unless you want to solo ninja rod and everything else he's good without even abilities he's a monster but of course can't blame you if you want to use him it is good investment but i can't blame you if you, it's not the time to go and maxing out uh, hashirama because now there'll be a chiha banner hashirama birthday so if you summon you'll get him probably so yeah uh double renegade madara honestly good investment good investment hashirama is better than double renegade madara don't get me wrong but he just don't need acquisition stones double renegade madara needs to have all acquisition stones to have the dodge to have the heal to be good in pvp and pv you understand uh, this madara it's not the time to use acquisition stones on this madara he needs first two abilities but all together wait for the dupes his primary thing is his body skill uh, that he gives the speed boost etc but yeah i don't know maybe yeah uh for madara i don't know you you are lacking units in pvp you really need this ignore dodge and uh, take him away and uh, that he is for a chakra then okay maybe if you really need it sage Manaruto. We, we're getting dupes now of kagalik units sorry i'll drink some water we are getting the dupes for Kagalik unit. And Sage Monarito for these days in Kagalik, I don't know how often do you see him, but I rarely see him. But still, if you don't have the units and everything else, he can do pushback. He's 4 8 chakra. He's, he can push back, he can switch uh, front row with a back row, so I can't blame you if you want to use him. Acquisition stone on him. Sasuke. Amazing maxed out, but it's not the time to use acquisition stone on him. Indra also don't do it. He's amazing PVE unit, and but he really needs to be maxed out to be perfect. Wait for the dupes of him. He is good by himself, good for PVE. It's not so necessary and urgent to have those abilities. Like for example, this Kakashi. You really need sometimes to have this first ability. To get rid of super impacts fast, so yeah, that's the point. Then we have Kagali uh, Kakashi. No, please, no, it's not the time. KCM Naruto, good investment, really good investment. Uh, AMC Sasuke can't blame you, honestly. In my opinion, KCM Naruto is better, in, and it's a better investment. And okay, I, I now see where I will. Uh, change maybe a little bit things uh, yeah I, I can already see okay never mind uh, I'll stay like this so KCM Naruto yeah he will be better if you max level max dupe him he'll be better than Sasuke definitely and it's a better investment but I would like to do this okay I would like to create it like this just like that perfect perfect okay you understand <laughs> okay so this I, I, as you can see, I made a little bit change because these four units, honestly, when they're having all the stones, they're so broken for PV. So broken. Even for. Uh, I put Madra here because then you get a PvP amazing unit at PV. Sasuke also. So, yeah, all together, getting dupes on these guys are is completely amazing. Even on DR. Yeah, I'll put it like this. And MC Sasuke is not so important. It is, but yeah. He really needs honestly three abilities to work but he'll do enormous damage by himself already so yeah be smart and of course mina to do here i believe now it's better tell me in comments below do you agree with me with the guys who really understand the game also uh but yeah i believe these five units are like i don't know i'll put it like this because they are today okay he can even get with few abilities but yeah, these four units, when you have them maxed out, it's completely amazing. Uh, then we have this uh, Hinata. No, it's not the time to use acquisition stones on this PvP Hinata. Pain. Uh, honestly, he's so good and everything else. Good investment. He's so good in PvE. So good. So good. So yeah, definitely, if you wanna invest in Pain, I wouldn't blame you. 
but altogether depends if you want to be a more pvp player or pve if you want to be pro pve player max this guy out bro but save for the new year's acquisition stone you know but yeah that that's the point and these kaga leaks rewards are pretty much for pvp and yeah for sage monarto i can't blame you honestly if you want to max him out he's such a cool character uh this minato when you max him out he is a must though must you need to make you you just need to max him out and then he'll work perfectly and have the uh, amazing speed uh since now the skill boost speed boost 50 is on i would say it's a must stone but no don't don't now use acquisition stones in uh, kagali kitachi it's for acquisition stones and it should be better to save them for something better pain kagali pain also this kakashi is really good investment maybe even a must stone to work perfectly and do a crazy amount of damage against bravery but i'll put him in good good investment this obito is so good also uh with his healing and everything else i mean since they're third anniversary units i mean kakashi you really need the dupes realistically on him on obito mm, he heals by himself and everything else he get a reset yeah it's a really good investment if you put acquisition stones in these two guys you will have a crazy pve unit now we have the pvp kings like i would like to call it naruto and sasuke they are a must stone because if you're a pve player then you don't care for this but there are um, the best pvp units in the game definitely if you max them out you're you'll you'll be the king of pvp completely broken units so if you want to use stones these are the, these are the units that you want to use stones on but yeah uh, now we have uh, madara maybe if you really need it if you want to see but nah, not don't do it today <laughs> gara not really maybe if you really need it okay because he's really amazing and everything else but he doesn't need abilities <laughs> uh this sorcery no this data is amazing with abilities and everything else but i would say if you really really need some skill unit to get chakra back really quickly uh then we have this kakashi oh oh he put the two the same kakashis never mind kago is really good investment because of the resets and everything yeah he put two units um uh, the same never mind thank you Pythus a lot for creating that but yeah, Kaguya, if you put all the acquisition stones, she'll be healer, she'll got a reset, etc, etc. Uh, damages, reductions, but altogether good investment. Yeah, this is my uh, tier list about on who should you use acquisition stones. First two column are the best units uh, for you um, to invest acquisition stones. So be smart, make your own decisions also while you play. I can't uh, guarantee you that 100% the best tier list. Of course, it's not. It, it always has some mistakes. Someone will not agree. It, it's all normal. But I believe this is pretty solid and it will be really helpful for you. So focus first on the first two columns. If you are lacking PvP good units and PvE units. And of course, uh, the last three columns. I would prefer until New Year's better that you save your stones and not to invest in the last three okay guys that was it for this video make sure to leave a like and subscribe i hope it was helpful thank you a lot for watching and yeah see you in the next one peace